Right. Like the scriptures say, but, well, like I was, I don't know how much of that it missed, but um, the men of the Lord are gonna go through Jacob's trouble. Yeah. So it's gonna look like it's gonna be the ultimate underdog uh, uh, comeback, you know? Because like the scriptures say, if Yahweh shall don't return when he's gonna return, there shall have been no flesh uh, saved, man. So it's gonna look like the devil's gonna win, man. It's gonna look like Esau's gonna win. No, I mean, like, hold on, oh, get that. All right, this is the book of Job. Yeah. The book of Job, chapter. Job chapter 20, verse 22, it says, In the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in strength. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. And when he is about to fill his belly, God shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him, and he shall rain it upon him while he is casting. Right. And that word right there, uh, every hand of the wicked, when you go into the word behind that, it's actually uh, the laborer. Okay? It doesn't mean uh, like his allies or anything. With the allies of the U.S. are going to come against him. But uh, that, that goes into the labor. But in the footage of his sufficiency, he shall be in strength. As soon as he think he about to, he about to take that, he about to sit down, he about to eat that delicious meal of, of, of accomplishing this new world order and conquering the globe. Right. Then, then, then that's when it's, he gonna, hey, he gonna get the seat pulled out from under his ass. Right. He gonna fall on a spike and then, <laughs> and then it's gonna come out his throat, man. You know, yeah. hey man, we gonna meditate terror, man. We gonna get fucked up in the, in the most ultimate way possible, man. Go ahead, bro. That's what I'm saying. No, verse, verse 24 says, he shall flee from the iron weapon, and the blood still shall strike him through. It is drawn and cometh out of the body. Yea, the glistening sword cometh out of the skull. Terrors are upon. That's the missiles, man. Right. That's come up out of the body, and they come up out of the skull, man. The glittering sword, man. That iron bow, man. You know? We're talking about the missiles like the first thing. This is, uh, uh, that's second Ezra chapter 6 verse 8 and he said unto me from Abraham unto Isaac when Jacob and Esau were born and of him Jacob's hand held first the heel of Esau for Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of the of it that followeth you know basically uh, when you go into the word Jacob it means uh, uh, it's Yaikwab in the Hebrew and it means supplanter right so just like just like the brother was bringing out in the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straight. We're gonna, as soon as he thinks he's gonna, he's gonna uh, uh, take rule of everything, right? Through his new world order, the Lord's gonna, gonna put the, uh, the spirit on us, and, and uh, primarily Yahushua is gonna come and pull him out of, pull him out of the ground, right? right. He's gonna take him from behind. He's gonna supplant him. Right, and this also shows you that Esau is in rulership in the end days. It's another reason, yet, yet again, why they had to take the apocrypha out of the scriptures. So that they can give you the deception that Esau's done away with. He was done away with. But they, but what did they use to say he was done away with? A uh, whole cab or slow cab or no class Malone like to use uh, the Maccabees account, man. Which is in the apartment. That's the only account where he can try to say Esau's done away with. Bullshit. But Esau ain't done away with. Bullshit. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, man. Edomites are still here. Like the scripture say, Esau's the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of it, they're followers, man. You know? So Esau is going to be the last uh, kingdom in rulership before, the, before the, the so-called end of the world, the end of this age, man. The end of the age of wickedness, the end of the, 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 end of the time of the Gentile, and the beginning of the time of Yashirala, man. Righteous rulership on the planet Earth. Please ask me 4 verse 16. There is no end of all the people even of all that have been before them, they also that come after shall not rejoice in him. Truly this also is ban banning and they taking the spirit. So there's no end to all people, man. There ain't no end to Esau, man. Esau's still here. Rolling like the devil he is. Okay? They, see, what they trying to do is they just trying to get out being the Edomites. That's all. That's all they want to do. But y'all the Edomites, man. You see? And y'all got hell to pay. Very soon. Right. What does the end of that scripture say again, bro? Then they come out and say what? Uh, they are. 
they also that come after shall not rejoice in him. Truly, this is also vending the best thing spirit. Right, right. You know, and I, I believe through the spirit that, you know, I, I could be wrong, but I believe through the spirit that's because a lot of these nations don't call themselves after those names. Even though there's no end to those people, and that, that, that line continues, that a lot of these people don't know that they go back to those particular lines, Moabites, Ammonites, you know, Ishmaelites, Hamites. They don't really call themselves after those names. But, you know, well, 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 on that note, what it's saying is, you know, there's no end of all people. So all yeah, all people are still here today, man. Now we know what the brother's saying is, you know, because what this devil did is, uh, I didn't know that. Sweet. Isaiah 25 and 7. What he did, what, what Esau did do is he put a covering cast of all, of all people. See? But we're out here to break down that covering cast and let people know who actually they go back to and who they are. Yeah, I was just talking about the rejoicing part. They should not rejoice in them. You know, they can't rejoice. Oh, yeah, we the Hamites, we did this. But they not really called themselves that. Isaiah, you said 27? But then you got what, what some of those, though, you got some of these nations to know who they are. Like, you got different signs. Uh, China, where they got places like a restaurant called Moe. Then they got like uh, like they got little, the wall by stone too. They got the they got little sauce. Like uh -huh. I, I don't know if it's hot sauce or what it is. They say like Moe. So it's like so in particular, certain nations do know who they are. You know what I mean? Two, two, two. No, I'm gonna use that very loose. I'm gonna use that loosely now. Use it loosely. But you know it's you know it's still it. Like uh, a lot of Arabs, not the ones that's born over here. A lot of Arabs, they be knowing they Ishmael. They be knowing they Ishmael, man. You know what I'm saying? So, so it's still loose, you know. Um, Isaiah 25 and 7. Isaiah 25 and 7. And he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people. Right, so we know mountains mean government. So in this particular government, we, the Lord is destroying who is within this. The Lord is destroying with this men. The face of the covering man. Over all people. Right, that's covered over all people. That's why when we ask, ask Jake or ask this, this, this man that came up, which is a brother, right? Not right now, though. <laughs> but he is of the seed of Israel. Let's say that. Yeah, I'll say, we'll say that. Right. We ask him what's the nationality. He says I'm Arab. Come on, man. What are you talking about? He's not an Arab. He's an Israelite. Hey, he's fully drunk with that wine. Fully right? drunk. And then, then, he, then he's right. Hey, he's so drunk with the wine, bro. He said, I'm an Arab American. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm talking about he had the, he had the yeah, pronunciation yeah, yeah. down. He had the whole spirit down, man. You know? Yeah. That, 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 that demon, that spirit took over his whole, his whole uh, uh, being, man. Right. He was destroying this mountain, the face of the country. Cast over all people, it's the veil that is spread over yeah. all nations. That's what we're trying to do that. The veil covering cast is spread over all nations of who they actually are. Right. And they're who they are, they can't tell you. But don't tell you who they are. Quick. Oh, I'm this. Oh, I'm Chinese. I'm this. Ah, man. Look, Proverbs and them by words. Which, you know, them came on us, but through Edom taking over the other nations, he misplaced the nation of who they were. Took over their land to call them something else. Right, you know, Africa, yeah, the different, the different splits, like even among his own kind. You got uh, the Turks, yeah, you got the Greek, the, the, the Armenians, yeah, yeah. Just all these different things, they got all yeah, these off for the most part, man. Right, right. right. And, and, all, and all the different sections of Moab, all the different sections of uh, the Amish, you know, Taiwanese, and this, that, and the other. You know, that's a that's a covering that's been cast over all the nations. That's his way of just kind of hiding stuff. That's all. Exactly. That's all. Exactly. Right. Like, yeah, spread it up with a different name. We're the French and we're we're Irish. And we're oh man, yeah, Edomite. The ones that y'all to go back to the line of Esau. I'll say that. Stay back to there. All right, go back to yours, bro. We almost done. We need to bring that. This is Isaiah chapter fourteen, verse fifteen. Yeah. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell, to the sides of the pit. Right. Brought down in low condition. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. They that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee saved. Uh -huh. Is this the man? Wait a second. When we read this in the context, 
Read it again. Read it again. All right. To prove, prove to you this is not. How you doing, though, man? To prove to you that this is not the spiritual being of Satan. Go ahead. All right. This is uh, Isaiah chapter 14, verse 16. Yeah. They that shall see thee shall narrowly look upon thee uh -huh. and, con and consider thee, saying, is this the man that made the earth to tremble? Is this the man that made the earth to tremble? So when you read the verses down, it's letting you know that it's talking about a particular person. And we told you, Esau, Edom, man. Go ahead. That, that did shake kingdoms? Uh -huh. That made the world as the wilderness? Right, and he did that to what? His terror, his blessing, his warfare. That's what he did. He shook the world, man. He shook the kingdom. He made the world into a desolate wilderness, man. Lead, lead, man, look. If the Lord leaves this devil, which he's not, but let's just say, if this devil was to rule for another, nah, it's gonna take five, ten years, this place would be through, man. Through. Okay? The, the, the land is not producing crops as it should be, right? Naturally, uh, the, 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 the ocean, the ocean life is terrible. There's barely any ocean life left, naturally. So what they gonna do? They they gonna uh, land create everything, right? And then send it out, send it to us out to eat. Because that's what they doing now, mainly. Just sick and dying. Right, vegetable vegetable crops, right? They're, those are not being grown naturally no more. And then if you if you had enough money to try to do those things, right? What, what do they do? To you? They'll find you. They'll find you for collecting rainwater. Here, here we is, this is something natural came from the Heavenly Father, but they need to tell you in your own backyard, supposedly, right? They say you can't collect rainwater. But this is from the Heavenly Father. This is free. Just like everything else. Vegetables, right? Uh, different sea life, you know? But you leave it up to Him, everything destroyed. Everything belongs to Him now. But really, everything belongs to us. Second Heavenly Second Heavenly Six. Fifty. Something like fifty. Right. And um, even with him like growing stuff, you know, the, the byproducts, uh, let's say let's let's talk specifically about the uh the fertilizer and the byproduct of that is fluoride. And it's such a vast amount of fluoride that's created that they have to find something new with it so they just throw it in your water. Man. But that's a hazardous chemical waste, man. The people that work at those fertilizer plants. Uh, suffer all types of sicknesses and illnesses. They have short lifespan, teeth fall out, uh, they develop lesions and different things on their bones. You know? Let this devil do it, even even with the lab grown uh, foods and all that. Man, it, like the brother said, give him another 10, 5, 10 years, man. This place would be running to the ground. You already see uh, Trump, most of the time, Trump man back. He almost started World War III the other day, man. What, what do you say? Uh, he, he, Gave the go-ahead to fire on Iran, but then he would do it at the last second when one of the drones got taken out of the sky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but you know, at the end of the day, that we all know these wars are over the wars because we got different prophecies that got to come to come to pass before World War Three actually takes place. Like the RFID micro, the RFID micro which is the mark of the beast. See, that's going to be out here before World War Three go on. Jacob's trouble is going to be out here. Famine is going to be out here, man. It's gonna be buck crazy out here, man. When all these things start to take place, it's gonna be quick. You see, it's gonna be like a, a, a woman in her um, in her birth pain, in travail, man. See, the contractions, the yeah. When the baby start coming forth, it don't stop. Stop. That's how it's gonna be. All right. Uh, this is uh, Isaiah chapter 14, verse 17. It says that made the world as a wilderness and destroyed the cities thereof that opened not the house of his prison. Right, and he did that through his warfare, man. And America's just a big ass prison, man. That's all it is, man. It's a big ass corporation in the prison zone, man. It ain't open a house to his prison, man. That's what it is. That's it. Yeah, they, 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 they've continued slavery under the guise of criminal punishment. I was talking about that. What's up, bro? How do y'all feel about Oh, you 
in the air for the part of the damn genocide. He killed more people than this one. Uh, the other day when he did, this is who he learned from. Uh, King Leopold. King Leopold. See, I don't. See, I didn't look up to King Leopold. I don't know if King Leopold is an Israelite or if he is. Uh, uh, he is one of the weird dictators that used to be in the world. Like okay, so you're, you're talking about the Imperial Oh, yeah. yeah. During the uh, scramble for Africa. Oh, that's where they just called him as an old That dude yeah. right there. Yeah. Oh, he's an Edomite. He ain't our people, man. And he ain't uh, used to be. What did you mean he was used to be an Israelite? Like to just going through Central Africa and just murdering, cutting their hands off. I don't know if they could be Hamites. I don't know if they could be Hamites. They might be. But a lot of our people are in the areas, in the interiors, and exteriors of West Africa today as well. But as far as you could have used the Hebrew Israelite doctrine to do that, I don't believe that. I'll tell you this. This is what I say about that whole historical thing. If you listen to the doctrine, we don't preach violence. We don't preach going out there doing things of your own accord. Right. We preach that when the Messiah returns, he's going to do the judging. And then he's going to give his men the spiritual power under his command to go execute his order and his anger. All so right, that all that stuff right there, that ain't got nothing to do with our God. Oh, yeah. And that's more, bro. I like what you got right here. Yeah, we don't, we don't all right, promote that type of stuff. Bro. Right, you know, but as, as the scripture do say, you know, like in, um, um, Real quick, for Revelation 13. I don't know where the hell he got that from. He's the Hebrew and like doctrine. Hold on, our doctrine, we get our doctrine from the Bible. See, so I don't know what that, an Edomite? You know what? I'm going to go, I'm going to go with that. We're going to go with that. But hey, the Edomites, but the Edomites took our book and you didn't get that. They killed us all. said, well, you know what? God said, you're supposed to pay your master. Totally went off. Totally went off, man. Because when you read further down, it says, oh, what he did was wicked. If you watch the movie, Birth of a Nation, but not Turner, read the scriptures fully and understood them, he said, hold on. He told us this, but the scriptures say that. See? So that's why I spoke. He saw know the truth. You think that that one don't know that who we are and don't know the truth of what's really happening out here? So you people need to go further and do some studying, man. Further than some studying, and that, and that movie proved a lot man, how they use our people to teach the word falsely against us. Still do to this day. Yeah, I was about to say that, and they still do to this day. Um, give me, uh, yeah, 13 and 13, verse 9. Right. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that lead up into captivity shall go into captivity. Right, so the scripture, the Bible says, he that lead up into captivity shall go into captivity, right? So all you other nations, let us be captivity as Israelites. All you other nations are born into captivity, man. You're in the kingdom of heaven, period. This is the Bible text, right? Go ahead. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Killed with the sword, the same thing God right. done to you. Go ahead. Here is the patience and faith of the saints. Right, so here is the faith and the patience of the saints. See, these are one of the things we are, are, are waiting on. See? You know what? The Lord is going to give us payback. Because what the Lord says, wait ye upon me. That's what he said. Wait ye upon me. So that's what we're waiting for. That's the faith and the patience of the saints. To put all you nations to put us in captivity, to put you in captivity. To thrust us off with the sword, how y'all thrust us with the sword. Right. See, the Bible does say that. See? But then what you going to make the argument? Oh, well, could God let King David take over the other nations that had Edomites in subjection? What, so God's wrong for that? No. <laughs> no. Not at all. You know what I'm saying? Thing we, is the righteous thing with the most high to render recompense after them in trouble, you know what right. I mean? we, we, And we, in our punishment, in captivity and in the worst condition because our disobedience to the Heavenly Father. So, you know, hey, hey, get that you can have uh, to you. Yeah, All right, this is Psalms chapter 149 and verse, and verse 4. Yeah, Psalms, okay. No, it's Proverbs. I mean, Psalms, you like Proverbs. It says, uh, For the Lord Yahweh taketh pleasure in his people who will beautify the meat with salvation. Right. Let, the, yep. let the saints be joyful in glory. Uh -huh. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Right. Let the high praises of the Most High be in their mouth and the two-edged sword in their hand. Right to execute vengeance upon the heathen 
and punishments upon the people. Woo! Read that again, brother. Yeah. This is Psalms 149 and 6. Let the high praises of the Most High be in their mouth, yep. and a two-edged sword in their hand, right. to execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people, right. to bind their kings with chains. So we're going to bind y'all kings with chains and what? And their nobles with fetters of iron. That's right, all you rulers. That's what we're going to bind y'all all up. Man, y'all going into slavery, man. Right? You heathens are going to get thrust through, and y'all going to captivity. Oh, yeah. To execute upon them the judgment written. The, the old execute execute upon them the judgment what? Written. The judgment written. It's already written down. So it got to take place. Right. It says, uh, this honor have all his saints. Praise ye Yahweh. Yeah, we're gonna praise Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, man. See? That's what we're gonna praise, man. That's a that's a beautiful thing. Jake, Jake don't like that though. Jake, Jake has lost the royal shit or the rulership mentality. They have lost the rulership yes, mentality. Yes, they they no more think of themselves as, as priestly, as, as kingly, and, and, and uh, to hold themselves with honor, to hold themselves with dignity. They don't think like that anymore. No that that's too far fetched for them. See, I don't I don't want to be a judge. I don't I don't want that much. Um, Responsibility. See? So that's why when we talk about being a ruler, they don't want that. They they take the uh, you know what? And, and that makes such a giant fit for it either. Ultimately, Jake is satisfied with the plague of, of Babylon, man. You know, like uh like like the scripture say in the wisdom of Solomon, Philippians chapter two, I, I could be wrong, but when it talks about uh devising the vitals being the beginning of, of wickedness, it also talks about uh, uh such great plagues called they peace. It was just a list of different things going on, adultery, uh, transgenderism, all these different things. Hey, they called that peace, man. You know? Yeah. So, so when, he, when, he, when he sees our people getting killed in the street, he ain't got shit, you know, just living at the bottom, grounding, scraping for everything. He all right with that. He's cool with that. You know? That's all he knows. So it's just like, whatever, you know, hey, yeah, another dick died. At least it wasn't me. Hey, fuck. You know? But like the brother was just going into, man, that's not the right mindset. Jake have lost the rulership mentality. Man. Surely a person making a wise man mad. But our people are foolish, man. But before that, before that go, before all that, they have lost their godly mentality, man. The ways the ways that please the heavenly father. That's what they have lost. Yeah. And we was a, we we was once at a point in time to have lost that too. But through the grace and mercy of Yahweh yeah. Shah, you know, he gave us that life. I got the book of Isaiah 24 verse 20 or 21 it says and this shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall punish the host of the high ones that are on high and the kings of the earth upon the earth and the kings of the earth is what? So it was Esau being the top of the people of Edom right? he is one of the kings of the earth the rest of the nation going down all those different kings but it's really talking about the elite no uh I gotta, I'm gonna read this book. Psalms 2 verse 8, it says, ask, ask of me and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance in the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron and thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. Man. So that's what we're gonna do to these nations. These nations get out of line, you're gonna get dealt with. See? But that, that's, that's how you rule the king. Order them. They all established by order. Revelation 2 and 26. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nation. He shall rule them with a rod of iron. If the vessels of a potter, they shall be broken to shiver. Even as I received of my father, and I will give him the morning star. So Yahweh Shah said what? Him that overcome it, he's he gonna give them power over the nation. And that same person, or, or those men, are gonna break these nations with a rod of iron. Just like Yahweh Shai received from his father. You know? So these nations are gonna be under strict bondage, man. Right, and guess what? The elect, or uh, uh, the 144,000, right? It says we're gonna be joint heirs with Yahweh Shai. 
See? So guess what? We're going to be airing your hours back. We're going to be judging you nations as well, man. You got something, bring it out. That's right. Fellow heirs with the Messiah, man. You know, receiving the same the same type of uh, rulership, you know, in, in order. Because, of course, he's going to be a bubble. Right. 144,000 are going to be like brothers, man. Fellow heirs of Yahweh Shai, man. And we're going to rule over the nation like the same. You got something? He got something, but I was trying to look for something. Oh, here we go. Let me read this book. Because right now I talked about us, us being at a point of time in darkness as well, right? The Ephesians 5, verse 8, it says, For ye were sometimes darkness, but now you are the light in the Lord. Walk with the children of light. For the fruit of the Spirit is all good and right and the truth. Proving what is acceptable unto the Lord. And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather will prove them. Where it is the same thing to speak of these those things which are done of them in secret, right? So the point that I was going to is what? You are sometimes in the darkness. See? But what Your now name. we're walking in children of the light. See, and who's the light? And y'all was God. See? Yeah, how was God that light? Them that he did for no, uh, he did he conform to the image of his son, man. You know? So when we walk at the children as the children of light. Walking after Yahweh Shai. These are them that follow the Lamb with us wherever He goes, man. You know? So we're going to walk after the ways of Yahweh Shai. We got to, hey, like Him goes into picking up that cross, drinking that bitter cup of fish, you know? That's what He, that's what He hopes to be like to be going That's how you walk as a child of light, man. Uh, uh, this is uh, John chapter 14, verse 6. Yahweh Shai saith unto them, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. That's why we always tell you. There ain't no way to get into the Heavenly Father without Yahweh Shai, man. Because he is the mediator. First, first Timothy come fast. Um, got it? Yeah, first Timothy is going to stop, right? Because Yahweh Shai is our mediator. See? That's the only way we can get back to the Heavenly Father. First Timothy 2 and 5. Uh-huh. But there is one God and one mediator between God and men. Uh-huh. The man of Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. That crushes another wise fable that we, were start, that we started going into earlier. Because y'all say God and Jesus is uh, one, one entity. No, but we didn't get there. Yeah, that's two separate entities, man. First Timothy uh, 2 and 5. But there is one power and one mediator right. between the most high and men. The man, Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. That's it. Yahweh Shai. Right? That was probably the only begotten son. So that's the only way we can get the only way we understand that we should have to follow this is Yahweh Shai. Yeah. Alright, you guys, you read that, John? Yeah, okay. So let's go. Um, so now we're in continuation of um, dealing with this man in Isaiah 14, you know, um, 12. Or 12 on down, dealing with that man. This is uh, Thes Thes uh, Second Thessalonians chapter 2, uh, starting at verse 3. It says, Let no man be deceived right. by any means, for that day shall not come except there be a fallen away first. And that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. Right, yeah. the son of perdition. That man be revealed, man. And who is that speaking about, man? Speaking about the Romans. Okay? Speaking about the Romans. Go ahead. Right, because the following way first is when um, we were deceived in our homeland, Jerusalem, 70 AD. Go ahead. Uh, verse 4. Who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is the Most High. Yeah. For that is worship, so that he, as the Most High, sitteth in the temple of the Most High, showing himself that he is the Most High. Right, that's what Esau has been doing, man. Even since way back then in those times. See? But it was revealed who the hell he was. Go ahead. Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things. Uh-huh. And now ye know what withholdeth 
that he might be revealed in his time. Uh -huh. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work. Only he, he who now letteth, will let unto him be taken until until he be taken out of the way. All right. Uh, 